27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. And the unfortunate news is as Alexis just got done talking about all that flooding, more heavy rainfall likely in the forecast. Fortunately, right now we're still getting a break from that rain. We had the dry weather over this weekend. Beautiful weather. We had that throughout the 1st of July as well. Now, unfortunately, watching rainfall move in just off to the south and west of us. However, that being said, you can notice a lot of that rain slowly deteriorating as it moves eastward. It's because the atmosphere here at home is just way too dry. Now our Clear skies are gone. Those are not sticking around. In fact, what we're dealing with essentially that increasing cloud cover will be all we see this evening. The reason behind that rainfall continues to inch closer, but look at the amount of humidity in the atmosphere. Dew point values near 50 degrees pretty much area wide. That number has to be a lot closer to this before we see any sort of rain chances here at home. So this evening will be dry, though will be more significantly cloudier across the area. 70 degrees at 7 o'clock by 8, 69, 65 degrees by 9. So whether you're grabbing a bite out to eat, you're just going for a stroll this evening, it should be a perfect forecast throughout the next few hours. That being said, we pick that future track up after 10 o'clock. Not only do we see more of those clouds, but you start to see a few of those light rain showers settle back in. Just the initial burst of rainfall settling in. Notice some heavy rainfall at first, and then by the time we're waking up for tomorrow morning, a lot of that rain is still deteriorating as it slowly inches eastward. We just need to see that dew point value rise before any significant rain chances can occur. However, we will see significant rain chances in the forecast. So a few pockets of heavier rainfalls are waking up early tomorrow morning. Grab the umbrella. You are going to need it, folks. Look at this 59 degrees at six o'clock by 10, 66, 68 degrees around our lunch hour. Temperatures around one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, in those upper 60s and low 70s. But you'll notice something else early tomorrow afternoon, a break from the rain. Thankfully, that's great news. The unfortunate news, more significant heavy rainfall on the way for later tomorrow evening. So this is four o'clock in the afternoon. Temperatures reaching the upper 70s, even low 80s for some of us. Look at these numbers back up to 77 in Madison, 80 degrees in Janesville, but lurking just off to the west of us. Showers and storms firing up across parts of Iowa as well as southern Minnesota, getting ready to push further off into the East uh, reaching southern and western Wisconsin as early as 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. Now the latest model data coming into the Weather Center showing that well-developed line of thunderstorm activity reaching Madison and Dane County just around 9 o'clock or so, pushing out towards Fond du Lac, Watertown, Monroe by about 10 p.m. by 11, reaching Janesville and then out of our area by about 11 o'clock to midnight on Wednesday evening. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has placed nearly the entire area under that marginal threat of severe weather. That is a one out of five on the threat index, five being the greatest threat of potentially severe storms. What does this mean? Well, between 8 p.m. and about midnight, damaging winds and large hail will be a possibility tomorrow. So keep that in mind. By the time we reach Wednesday late morning, some of us could be dealing with an additional two to possibly more than three inches of rainfall. Latest projection puts Madison by about 1.3 inches of rain. Wednesday, a high temperature right around 84 degrees, a pretty nice day, but let's fast forward to Thursday, folks. That is when we're looking at the, uh, the 4th of July, and you can see most of us are staying dry. A couple instances of isolated rainfall in the afternoon. Latest projections showing dry conditions for Thursday evening. 79 degrees around 7. By the time those fireworks are going off, temperatures are in the mid 70s. Hopefully that forecast holds. It looks like late Thursday night into the pre-dawn hours of Friday, we see a better chance of that rainfall returning. Friday, a high temperature of 78 degrees with scattered showers and storms. Saturday, as of right now, 80 and partly cloudy. Good for the fireworks on yeah. Wednesday. So far, so good. If Wednesday's looking perfect. No yeah. chances of rainfall on That's Wednesday. Good. Thursday, we've been seeing that model data kind of go back and forth. So hopefully we can see the mm. rain stay away for yeah. this firework displays. Then it can rain after. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Kim. Well, the NBA free agency period is in full swing. Sports director Carly Murata has you covered on the changes you'll see on the Bucks roster.